your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be dropped by no one which is living with the results of other people's opinion. Don't let know the matter's opinion. Draw out your own inner voice. And most more, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. This is how right now what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. When I was young, there was an amazing publication called Her Arcala, which was one of the Bibles of my generation. It was created by a fellow named Swap Brown, not far from here in Bella Park. And he brought it to life with his funny touch. This was in the late 1960s before personal computer and desktop culture. So it was all made with pottery, scissors, and all light cameras. They're so like glue and paper by the phone. Three or five years before glue came along. There was a realistic and overflowing with big tools and great notions. Still very hands down, but there were several issues over the whole whole catalog. And then I went ahead and ran its course. They put out a final issue. It was in the mid 1970s. When I was your age, and the back cover of their final issue was a photograph of an early morning country ball. The kind of you might find their safe checking off if you were so adventurous, but I think what we were saying, I understood foolish. It was still payload a message, as they say now. Say, I wish they're foolish, and I have always wished that for myself. And now, as a graduate of the EMU, I wish they're for you. Say, I wish they're foolish. Your time is limited, so don't waste it. Living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's opinion. Don't let them know the writer's opinion. Draw out your own inner voice. And what's important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They said how already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. When I was young, there was an amazing politician called Hard Earth Callum, which was one of the Bibles of a generation. It was created by a fellow named Stewart Grand not far from here in Mellow Park. He brought it to life with a funny catch. This was in the late 1960s, before personal computers and pop desktop publishing. So it was all made with cover, scissors, and power cameras in a sort of like Google in paperback form. 35 years before Google came along, it was a realistic overflow in with neat tools and great notions. Starting ahead, CM put out several issues on that. Or a catalog, and then. When he had run his cars, they put out a final issue. It was the mid 1970s. And I was your age, and the back cover of their final issue was a photo of an early morning picture roll. Can you mind a funny second check in um, if you were so adventurous? But uh, the word, the words, say hi, Mr. Polish. There's your farewell message as they say now. Say hi, Mr. Polish. And I have always reached out for myself. And now, as a graduate of the new, I wish that for you. Say hi, Mr. Polish.